Guys, nice, market videos will start next week, but for now, Madden comes out in a few days. You're going to get the game. You're going to open it up. You're going to log in and want to start playing, but you need to decide who you're going to take out of the plethora of free or pre-order players that you've already paid for. Got rookie premieres, headliners, team captains, all Madden elite players, elite team players. Just a bunch to pick from. So let's go ahead and break these guys down. Start filling up your lineup so you don't end up with three end cat or binder wide receivers right out of the gate. The very first thing that I want you to do is to go to Rookie Premier. So you're going to go ahead and look at the bottom there. You're going to get an 86 overall end cat Rookie Premier player for one token. This is a choice pack. One of 10, though. Not all 32. Hopefully, you have 15 of these tokens. You're going to get five total. Two are going to be auctionable, and then three end cat. Four of them, you're going to choose one out of 32 players. You're going to get all of them to pick from. But one, that bottom one, for one token... You're going to get your choice out of one of 10 Ricky Premier players. Hopefully, it's one of the guys you're looking for. We have kind of five, six, seven guys that we would like to have. Odds are good you're going to get at least one of them. Taking a look at the Ricky Premier, guys, this is one program. We're going to get five of these. So, I think this is where I want to start filling in one offensive guy, one defensive guy, and then three O-line players, right? I want to get as many guys down there as I can. Iki Ekwanu is one of the guys that I would really like to get at left tackle. 86 strength, 84 pass blocking, 84 run blocking. Solid card to start things off. Luke Kadecki, same thing. 85 strength, 84 pass block, 86 run block. These are the guys that we want to fill in. We're going to fill out the left side nicely here. Zion Johnson, another really good option at right guard. Tyler Linderbaum at center. The I know, I know. There's a lot of linemen here already. But the reason I want linemen early is, one, they're so expensive when Madden first drops. Two, I hate spending coins on guys that are not getting touchdowns. I know they're the reason why plays work and whatnot, but I don't want to spend coins on them. They're not fun, right? I don't. I want to spend coins on fun players. I can get these guys and cat essentially for free from doing the rookie premieres, rookie premieres from last year. I want to take that route. Okay, one that I actually do think I'm going to get early, Channing Tindall, middle linebacker, 86 speed. 87 hit power, 87 tackling, 80 play rec, 88 excel. This is a nice, fast middle linebacker, run stopper archetype that's going to be able to fill in the gaps in the middle and make some plays for you. Reese Hall is a solid starting running back at 85 speed. We've seen 86, 87 speed be the max so far. This guy looks solid. Like I said, 85 speed, 86 excel, 87 carry, 86 change of direction, 84 trucking. He can do a little bit of everything. Uh, break tackles a little bit low, catching's at 70, which I think I've seen right around most running backs be so far, so easy on those. But I'm definitely going to want Kyer Elam, Bills Mafia himself, 86 speed, 84 excel, 86 zone, 81 man, 86 press. The guy can do it all. Super excited for this guy. I think he has to be your number one target out of Rookie Premier. Just for pre-ordering the game, you get your choice of two players out of this next batch of these elite players. One on offense, one on defense. Lamar Jackson, I think, is a hard pass for me. He never throws well in the game. Joe Preppers looks like an okay card, but he's at 82 speed at safety. It's a little concerning. Isaiah Simmons looks like a halfway decent card, but we already took a middle linebacker. I know you can play with two, but nobody's really playing with two middle linebackers. That's going to push out Isaiah Simmons as a pass for me. On defense, I'm going Montez Sweat. 80 speed, 83 excel, 83 finesse move. A little low on the block shed, but for a day one starting right end, He's going to be able to do some damage to the outside, keep some of these quarterbacks inside the pocket. We know Block sheds a lot faster. As soon as these guys take off, the defensive line is going to disengage and come right for him. That 80 speed is going to come in helpful. On the offensive side, you have your choice of DeAndre Swift. Not a bad looking running back. 82 speed, though, a little bit on the slower side. Jalen Waddle, though, looks like a goon at 86 speed, 81 short, 81 mid. Deep, I'm not too worried about. I want this guy to catch the ball quick on his break. We're going to go ahead and add him into the squad. Okay, squad's looking okay so far. We have some really, really nice players still to go look through. Getting through those first two um, feels good. We still have headliners to go through. All Madden team elite players and team captains. We're going to finalize this out and get us a good day one starting squad. Right, let's take a look at the headliner info that we did get. But in the headliner program, we're going to get a headliner field pass player, an 86 overall card. We don't know who it is yet. We'll find out who this is later. But it also looks like we're going to get two 86 overall headliner heroes out of this program. One's going to be a binder card, essentially an end cat. The other one looks like it's going to be auctionable. Probably how we did last year, how you had to get some missions done or do some souls to get these cards. Starting off, Carson Wentz. I have counted out this player more times than anybody else. I'm not a Wentz believer, but early on in Madden, I'm not going to lie. These stats are not terrible. I know he's got 79 speed. That's not the worst you can have. He's got decent throw power. He's got good accuracy, and accuracy is huge this year. So this card may not be the worst thing I've ever seen. Divine D-Blow, 
And right outside, linebacker looks fantastic, actually, with Avalanche on him. 86 speed, 85 tackling, 83 block shot. I think he can get off some stuff. He might be a solid option here. The first of the two that I have to take is Donald Parham. This is a six foot eight tight end. 85 speed, 86 catch, 85 short route running with double me and, and deep out elite. He's an absolute must have to the offense. And last, I got to go with my guy, Gabe Davis. 85 speed, 86 jump. A short route running is a little bit lower than I'd like it to be. Those 85 catch though, 86 deep route running, has double me and outside apprentice. Okay, so the big pre-order bonus, as long as you pre-order by July 22nd, you get to pick one of these four all Madden Elite players. We have Barry Sanders, Mr. Cam Chancellor himself, Cooper Cup, and Micah Parsons. This one I think is a much tougher decision. It's going to kind of align a bit more with how you play the game. I think it's also going to kind of depend on who you got out of your rookie premier tokens. If you got one of the safeties and you have a guy at safety already and you thought you were going to go ahead and you were going to take Cam, you can skip on Cam now. I mean, he does look good though with Enforcer. I hear a lot of guys talk about Cooper Cup, how Cooper Cup is the card to get. He is the only card with Slot Apprentice day one. Things like that are always interesting though because we don't know how fast that's going to stay true. For all we know, within the first week, there's going to be two more cards with Slot Apprentice. For those reasons, I think I'm going Barry Sanders. At 86 speed, 86 excel, 87 agility, 85 change of direction, 86 break tackle with evasive. I think this is exactly the running back that I want to go with. Again, this could change if out of my rookie premier token, I get Brees Hall, who looked like a solid card. And now I have an end cat or binder running back already. I'm not going to double up and take another one, right? In that case, I will probably go with Cam Chancellor instead and add some help on the back. Cooper Cup's, again, really, really nice with that slot apprentice. We already have two good wide receivers, so I don't want to take another third binder wide receiver. The last piece to all of this, team captains were announced. These are cards, if you don't know, that are going to power up as the year goes on. You can pick one and don't panic because last year we were able to switch which team captain you had multiple times. Hopefully that's installed in the game right from day one. And if say you go ahead and get one of these guys, you don't like him or your gameplay changes or you get a different type of player, you can swap these guys out and change it around and go with somebody else. Let's see if that's in the game first though, before you just kind of pick one and then decide later who you want. First up though, we have defensive tackle Sam Adams. Looks like a monster with 87 block shed and 87 power move, 88 strength. This is a big man who's going to move some bodies up front. 78 speed is not bad for a D tackle either, especially day one. Eric Allen, I think, is a no-go for me. Rice, 86 speed. I think a lot, we're going to find a lot of corners, 86 speed, so I'm not really worried about that. His other stats do look good. 87 man, 80, 85 zone. He's 5'10", though. And I used to be the guy that would tell you that height was highly overrated in Madden, except this year when the Gridar notes came out and said they did, in fact, increase the algorithm, or they didn't say increase. They said they added an algorithm that makes height of a wide receiver matter on contested catches. For that reason alone, Eric Allen out for me. Larry Zonka, fullback, 82 speed, 84 strength, 86 lead block, 87 impact block. This should be a solid, solid, solid fullback starting out. They said they added this card in because a lot of teams do not have traditional fullbacks anymore. And that was always a weak point in theme teams. So now you have a team captain fullback that can get any team chem to add on to your theme team. Lastly, Keyshawn Johnson himself, 85 speed, 87 short, 87 mid. This card actually looks fantastic out of the gate. But like I said, we already picked two wide receivers. If I cannot bring myself to take a third. That's it for today. I know this can be a tough call. and There's a lot to go through. So I'm going to go through. If you don't pay attention to some of this or plan some of this out, you could end up with four binder and cat wide receivers and then go oh no i completely missed out on some guys don't do that plan this stuff out start with the rookie premier token grab your one out of ten choice pack find out who it is see if that can kind of you know help you decide where you want to go that's it for today go ahead and let me know down below who you're gonna take don't forget to like and subscribe next week i promise you the coin making videos are gonna start to come out we capped out at 75 million coins last year before easter we're gonna see if we keep going longer if we can make more coins this year